the Missouri National Guard one-on-one. -on -one. Missouri National Guard, always ready, always there. Well, basketball season is upon us, and you will get a sneak peek at Robin Pinchton's 2013-2014 Tigers this Tuesday at the Black and Gold Scrimmage. And Robin, uh, exciting time of year for you, I know. Um, what are you looking forward to most with the Black and Gold game coming up this Tuesday at uh, 645? Well, I tell you what, that's coming a little bit quicker than we anticipated with only five uh, practices under our belt. But we're really excited. I think it's a great opportunity for our players to get out and play in front of uh, our fans. And uh, in return, I think it's a great opportunity for our fans to really get a chance to know our men's and women's team on a personal note. We're going to have autographs from 6 to 6.45 for the men, 6 to 6.30 for the women. And it's a chance to just to get to know them more on a personal level. I think we've got some tremendous role models, and I think our our fans are really going to enjoy the opportunity to get to know them better. And a lot of returners for you off of a team that was in postseason play a year ago. I know you're only five days into practice, but are you already seeing some things that excite you about this year's team? Absolutely. It's a, it's a tremendous group to work with, and we're a lot further along than we were last year at this time. Uh, just with our core group returning, with the addition of some very talented young kids, um, we're excited. They've worked very hard all season long, all summer long, I should say, and into the season. I, I think it's a little bit of a different look, and, and spots and minutes are going to be very, very competitive for these young ladies. When you look forward to Tuesday night and that scrimmage, what are some of the things you'll be looking for as you evaluate what you see Tuesday? Well, you know, it's still so early, and uh, thank goodness we've got a couple weeks of practice ahead of us before we start with our exhibition game. But, you know, I think the big thing for our young players is to get used to playing in front of fans, in front of a crowd. Um, you know, I think it'll give us a chance to evaluate somewhat uh, some of the things that we need to continue to work on and, and uh, you know, what we're doing well right now. But, again, I think it gets really hard playing against uh, yourselves uh, for as long as we have all summer long with their change in the rules with the NCAA and our ability to work them out in the summer. And so I know, uh, as excited as they are, this is more about interacting with the community more than anything, giving them a, a sneak peek of, of some of our new kids and our returning players, and uh, using it as a chance just to get better in all facets. And is it just exciting being around this team and carrying that momentum from last year and all the good things that happened? It really is. You know, last year's last year, and we talked about that as a team. It was certainly a stepping stone for us, and it was a, it was a year of some great accomplishments and some things to really be proud of. But it's a new team, a new roster, and a new season. And so we don't want to just hang our hat on last season. We want to continue to build this program, uh, certainly not where we used to be, but not where we want to be yet. And we have a lot of hard work ahead of us. As you know, we play in an extreme, extremely tough, tough conference, and it's not going to get any easier. And so, um, you know, we just really look forward to continuing to build on the foundation that we've built so far, and I think this is a group that's really committed uh, to the journey. And we'll look forward to seeing the next step in that journey as Robin Pinchton's Missouri women's basketball team opens things up, the black and gold game. Don't miss it. It's Tuesday at 7 o'clock, 645, right here at Missouri Arena.